Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be checking out some viewer creations. Now I want to go ahead and thank you guys for all the support the past couple of days. As a lot of you know, I was sick and my multiplayer Monday episode was corrupt. So it's been a rough couple days. Now if you watched that episode yesterday, I told you guys that I was going to have to do my viewer creation episode earlier in the week, opposed to doing it towards the weekend because I needed more time to do my actual build, so we will have probably a town update on Thursday or Friday. It's going to be a relatively small update, because I have a pretty big build coming this weekend. It's going to be a kind of a one-off build. It's not going to be related to anything else that i built so far. So if some of you guys are asking where the Apocalypse base is, it'll probably return uh, next week, because I don't want to do... I want to say that Saturday's build's a little more... Halloween themed and I don't want to do two kind of I don't want to call them sad episodes but two episodes like that style so I'm going to do a uh, normal town update probably like I said Thursday Friday it is going to be relatively small and then we'll move on to the bigger build this weekend but anyways guys like I said thanks for all the support it's been amazing and we are ready to check out these builds today now I've got two different creators here the uh, first one is Scrubmaster, and he's built this magnificent theater. We're going to go over this first. And then the other builder is that Lego guy, and he's built several awesome vehicles. And these vehicles have really realistic suspensions, and they look fantastic uh, with the vanilla parts. And he's got a really odd vehicle here uh, to the right. It's a couch vehicle. So we'll go over those last. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up with the theater. Alright, the first creation is a theater. Now this is by Scrubmaster, and you may have heard that name before. He's provided us a couple items for our theme park. He provided a drink stall and a drink machine. Now, he said he built a theater for my town. Now, I normally don't get fear creations for my town, uh, no, especially not buildings. I sometimes get some modified vehicles for the town, and I have featured those before. But this is a full theater. Now, when he said theater, I thought he meant like movie theater as in, you know, you go watch the latest and greatest movies on the big screen. But no, this is like a performance arts theater. And I tell you what, this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm obviously not in the town right now uh, because this thing, I'm going to show you the spider web on it. There it is. This thing's pretty crazy. And it is extremely big. Let's go ahead and walk around the outside here. I don't know where I would stick this in the town. Now, I do want to use it because there's been a lot of love and effort put into this thing. I just have to scout out an area and figure out where I want to stick it. And also, I want to wait for the engine update. Now, good news is the engine update goes into beta on the 31st. So, uh, we're definitely going to do like a town stress test then. But I don't think I'm going to stick this in there until then. And then I also have to, of course, find a spot for it because it is such a massive building. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the front here. Now, he did something really cool with the front. I thought that was just painted on. Like, from back here, that does not look like 3D letters. But it actually, they actually are. And the letters themselves, and oh, I need to get in over here. Uh, the letters, he did something really cool. You've got this little black painting behind it. So it's like the letters are basically creating a shadow. And it just created a nice 3D effect. Uh, so that's really cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and go into the inside here. Now, the inside. This is actually the drink machine he sent me. I think it was red, though. So that's what's in the theme park. He's got a little vending machine over here. I'm assuming performance arts theaters are pretty much like your normal theaters. You're going to have all your drinks, your popcorn. Uh, here's like the little reception desk. There's a little duck on there. You got a monitor. Actually, let me see what's behind all this. Yeah, pretty nice little area. Now, these doors all through here lead into like the main, I guess you want to call it the auditorium. And I forgot, I need to check again how many people this thing seats, but it's a lot. Like here, just check this out. That is pretty ridiculous. And I love the way this building looks. I love how it skinnies up here towards the bottom. And the, uh, the seating arrangements look so legitimate. Like it's just cool looking and I love the style of the walls, how they do, how they kind of skinny up here towards the bottom. Uh, you can actually sit in any one of these and there's not really a bad seat here. I mean, they're all pretty good. 
and it's just there's so many of them this thing's so massive like when he sent this over i just was not picturing something this big now obviously you can see the stage here you've got like a white background you can actually close the curtains here which is really neat that's cool and uh, up there you can see the little room where maybe they're controlling spotlights, curtains, uh, audio, no telling what's all going up there. There's probably actually a name for that room, but you've got that. Now, you also have a complete tunnel system under this building, and you can see there's some stuff on the spiderweb that's kind of low. So we'll go over that. There's actually, I think one of the entrance is to the tunnel systems, like I think here. Yeah, you can see it go down. Uh, we'll go down that here in a second. Let's actually go up to the uh, little booth up here. And like I said, there's probably a proper name for this area in theaters. I'm not sure what it is. I probably need to look that up. But we're going to go up into here. And there's a ton of buttons up here. Now, they don't necessarily do much. A lot of it's just like lights and stuff. Uh, you got all these little switches. You got a little monitor here. You got a big spotlight over here. Uh, this is probably like maybe your music and audio and you can actually control the curtains from up here too you just hit this switch there we go oh, you can hear the music playing uh there's obviously there's a radio somewhere that's activated i don't see it but i can hear it you've got that uh you've got some switches back here i think a lot of these are just aesthetics i don't think they actually do anything but it, it's actually really cool because it just adds a lot to like a control room uh, this leads you out, obviously, to the roof here. Got a couple air conditioning units over there. There's a hidden duck right there. That's cool. Alright, let's go down below here. Now, I haven't... Oh, there's another duck. I haven't uh, actually walked around all of the building because I kind of wanted to save some of it for the, the thing itself here, the video. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's... I'm assuming this is backstage here. And oh. I think the curtains are in the way. Let's go ahead and close those real quick. There we go. Ah, this is a exit over here to get outside. Uh, got a couple, looks like mic stands over there. Uh, this is probably another way to get down. Oh, there's the tunnel. There might be two separate tunnels. Let's see where this one leads. This might just be under the stage here. And you can see all, this is where all the controllers are. Uh, this is where the mechanism for the actual curtains are it's like a uh, almost like a i guess a piston or somewhat like one uh, you've got that so there's all that this is probably was this another door here oh yeah so you've got that door okay so that's backstage that's just one of the tunnel systems there's a big one over under the lobby here so let's go ahead and close that yeah i really do want to stick this in the town because i think it would look fantastic in it uh, let's see. Let's open this up here. Now, hmm. I'm gonna open up some of these doors. There's different ways to get to the uh, bottom here besides that one entrance. This is another control room here. Uh, I want to say... Oh, this is like a... Or this is like a... Uh, maybe a coat hanger room. You come in, drop your coat off. They stick it over here. This is another entrance to the bottom. Yep. There's that. We're probably gonna use that one back there. Let's go over here real quick. Uh, bathrooms, obviously. There we go. It's uh, pretty neat looking. Uh, let's try this door. This door... Okay, that leads back into the auditorium. So, obviously to get under, we're going to use this over here. So, let's go ahead and go down this. There we go. Uh, I guess just close that back up. Now, we're under the main lobby area. And we've got... So many controllers in this thing. This is absolutely nuts. I mean, this building, this uh, spider web, just everything about it. I mean, even there's just the little details. You can see, like, this would be the wiring running through. You've got big pipes, probably the water uh, going through the bottom here. It's just a maze down here. There's probably some air ducts. Uh, let's see what's over here. Okay. I'm gonna get lost here. This is probably what is this over here? This is a oh, this looks like a little storage room back here. Some big boxes. I'm still hearing that constant music playing, and I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, let's see. This is maybe I don't know what that's supposed to be. I uh, hear some rooms. Uh, this looks like hmm. This looks like a mixture of a locker room and there's some wiring in here. There's a motor. Whoa, 
Okay, I don't, I don't know what that is, but that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Ah, oh, there's so many doors. Okay, this is... This looks to be another control room. There's there's a lot of these in here. So you've got that one. This is... looks like another storage area down here. Okay, where am I going now? Let's go this way. I'm gonna get lost in this. There's a couple more pipes. Looks like... Okay, there's the way... Okay, I didn't... Did I miss... Okay, that's that entrance. Alright, I could have swore there was like a locker room somewhere. There's so many little pathways back there that uh, I might have missed it. But anyways, that is a, uh, this is a fantastic building. I just love the style on it. I mean, the colors are nice. The attention to detail is awesome. So I really have no problems with putting this in my town. I just have to wait for the engine update because I'm pretty sure this is going to cause some lag. And I've really got to find a, a place to put it because this is like I said probably it would be one of the biggest buildings in the town besides probably the hospital and maybe the school but anyways I want to thank Scrubmaster for allowing me to or actually I guess making that for the town I should say I will link his workshop in the description if you'd like to check that out uh, he's got some fantastic stuff on there but anyways, like I said, thanks to him for sending that, but let's go check out the uh, other creations real quick. Alright, I've never checked out any of that LEGO guy's creations before, and I opened up the email and I immediately noticed the first one. This little hot rod, or maybe it's like a Mad Max style hot rod, was one of the top workshop creations. So I got excited, I was like, alright, he's probably got some awesome stuff. And he really does, I mean, his attention to detail on these vehicles is fantastic. Now another unique thing, and let me pull up the spider webs on these things. These are absolutely insane looking spider webs. Uh, he doesn't use suspension pieces. He's got a unique suspension in here. I see some free bearings. I really wish I could explain what's going on here. I'm assuming maybe it's like a gas powered uh, suspension. So there's probably a button on the inside that I'm going to hit. It's going to kind of give these uh, suspension pieces power. or They're not really actual game suspension pieces, but his own custom ones. Uh, it looks like some of these controllers are actually controlling the mufflers there. I love the uh, the window is absolutely awesome looking. Uh, even though it's those big blocks, just how he's angled them out. Uh, that looks cool. You got the double wheels here in the back. This thing actually does look like it'll fit my apocalypse world really nice. Uh, these are all vanilla parts, which is really good. Uh, that always makes it easier for people to download. Now, uh, do keep in mind that all this is on the workshop so if you'd like to check it out but anyways I'm really excited let's uh, jump into this thing now I was looking at it earlier and I almost jumped into the wrong side the driver's sides on the uh, on the right side here so let's go ahead and open this up here oh, this is a nice looking cockpit he's got this uh he's like roll bars here oh this is cool let's go into the first person and check this out Oh, that is a uh, that is really sweet. Now, one advantage to this, uh, especially with using or not using suspension parts, you do save some FPS. Like the only vehicle, whoa, that was odd. But anyways, the only vehicle that's causing any bit of lag is actually the weird. It's on the other side of the Mercedes truck. There, it's like a couch vehicle. Uh, we're gonna go over that one last, but let's see. Okay, the one key. That activates the motor. Oh, you can see the little fan going. And actually, it does activate the suspension. And that is really, that is really cool. Okay, let's hit the two key. Two keys, the door. Three key is the other door. Uh, four keys, horn. Five key. Oh, he's got thrusters in the back. Okay. All right, let's drive this around real quick. And oh, that suspension. Oh, that's awesome. That is a really unique looking suspension. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, he's got kind of the uh, solid axle in the back. And oh, look at that thing go over stuff. Okay, that is cool. Let's see if we can get it to shift over. Oh, I might have broken it. Oh, you know what? I bet you it just warped through. Yeah, see, this is the one bad thing about Scrap making. I don't know if the new engine's going to fix that. But sometimes if pieces make collisions, they uh, they warp. As you can see, the uh, it's warped above the roll cage. So that's not really... It's nothing that he could do. Let me reset it real quick. This is easily one of my favorite cars that I've been sent in a while. I uh, just, there's something about suspension pieces and scrap mechanic or custom suspension pieces 
that uh, it's probably one of my favorite things ever. I mean, I've probably stated that before. I just love off-road vehicles. I love uh, normal race cars and just the way he's done this. Uh, I'm really going to probably pick this one apart in my free time and just see what's all going on here. I know the front part is gas powered, but I think the back part might just be on free bearings. Like I, when I powered up the front, the uh, the front of the car instantly went up, but it's not doing it anymore. This thing handles great, except for the one little issue, but I think that's just a scrap mechanic thing where it warped through the uh, cage there, but haven't had any issues since. Handles great. It takes the terrain very, very nice. Uh, you can see the body roll. It, whenever we turn, the body will really shift over and lean over to one side. I'm not having any issues. I haven't even flipped over yet. Uh, it seems like it catches that suspension. Oh, right as I said that. Okay, that's the first time. Uh, that's, oh, look at the detail under there. Wow, you can see where it looks like where the transmission would be going back. Uh, you can see the bottom of the motor. I didn't even realize the uh, the actual gas motors he's got on there are actually sideways. He's got those on controllers. Oh man, this thing is cool. This thing is really cool. Uh, I might be stuck in here. Let me see if I can get out. I'm in kind of a, uh, a weird spot. I think I can open the door from here. Yeah, but that is definitely one of the coolest vehicles I've seen in a while. I just, I'm almost mesmerized by just looking at the way everything works on it that I could probably stare at it all day and I could probably drive it around for a lot longer, but I think I need to go on to the next vehicle here. Now, I've actually created one of these before and it's, of course, it's probably not nearly as good. It was a long time ago. Uh, this is a, is the engine still running? Oh, it is. Must have left it on. Uh, let's, uh, no, I guess it's okay. But anyways, this is a Mercedes, I think it's, it might be an AMG. Uh, it's got a little unique name to it. And it's a uh, Mercedes, one of the, we call it, I guess, a six by six. Uh, you can see the six wheels here. I tried to recreate one of these. Uh, it's probably, uh, it's actually probably been about four or five months ago. But uh, this one's got a lot of detail. And ever since I checked out the other vehicle, I'm really excited to see what this suspension does. I'm trying to look at the setup here. There's a lot of uh, free bearings. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into it real quick. And actually, the motor's already running. There's a lot of detail. He's got the uh, the sideways engines there, too. You can see they're on a bearing. Uh, you get the fan running. You get the radiator in the front. Uh, let's see. What all? Okay. Once again, uh, I'm, I'm getting in on the wrong side. Uh, sorry. That's what I get for being American. Okay, we're going to get on this side. Here we go. Okay, so the one key is a door, two keys that door, three key rear door, four key that door, five key hood. Oh. Now look at that, huh? Let's look at the uh, engine detail real quick. Hop out. Is there something? I guess that's what this bar is for. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That is really, really cool. I love that. So. All right, let's see here. One key, and let's close the hood. See how this thing handles. Oh, oh, that's the theater. Oh, look at that. That rear suspension. Okay, you can see the uh, the back. Okay, you've got two solid axles. I'm, I'm trying to register what's happening here. Uh, looks like the backs are on one, and then the ones in front of it are on a solid. Actually, everything's on solid axles. But just the way they move. Wow, that is really cool. That's a lot of bearings, but... I mean, of course, that's okay because you're not dealing with actual suspension parts. That, that's one of the things. You, you can get to a limit in bearings and it'll start to lag. But a lot of times it's, say, if you stack suspension parts, which I'm, I'm obviously guilty of doing that a lot. I, I like to use the three suspension setup pieces, and that can sometimes kill some of my creation. That's what's going to be really interesting to see uh, when I do a stress test, when I spawn all my, or at least a lot of my vehicles in the same area, just kind of see what happens. Yeah, this thing takes these turns really good. I'm getting a little bit of lag from it. I'm assuming that's because there's a ton of bearings. But uh, it's not too bad. It's not unplayable, definitely. Uh, that looks sweet. And actually, I even like the little uh, nozzle he's got in the front. It actually looks like the uh, Mercedes logo. Or if he's just kind of turned that sideways. It's, it's just got a really unique shape. I love how he's actually angled out the uh, pieces. I think mine was pretty, uh, pretty boxy, I would say. But his, uh, you can see where he's used the controllers. He's got the bearings in the windows. He's just given everything a really nice, unique shape. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to check out some of the other vehicles on his workshop. But I'm going to save those uh, for later in my personal time. And then 
I highly suggest you guys go check out his workshop too. It's that Lego guy. I'll have it linked below. Uh, that way you can see some of his other vehicles. But uh, this is definitely a really cool truck here. But I'm really intrigued by his last creation, which I'm going to have to delete some of these. I'm going to try to save some FPS but because some, for whatever reason, it is a laggy couch. And I don't really know what's causing it to lag. We're going to inspect it. But anyways, let's go check it out. It's right over there. By the way, that Mercedes was the AMG G-Class. Uh, that's the uh, I, I knew there was probably an actual name for it besides just 6x6. But that's what that was. Now, this is a V8 couch. And I do see suspension pieces. I also see free bearings. That almost looks... Oh, that's cool. It's almost like a solid suspension piece or like a tire rod leading up to like a... Uh, almost like a shock and suspension piece up there. Uh, you've obviously got a huge V8 motor right here in the front. Actually, that really looks cool how you did that. Now you can see the pieces curved out. Where's the actual gas? Okay, it's back here as a gas motor. Uh, you've got a little bit of a bathroom. Okay, you've got that. you got a sink. And you've got a couch for you and your friends. Now, question is, how does this thing handle? This is obviously a couch. and Oh, yeah, it is. It's just a three-wheeler. Okay. That's cool. Actually, it handles pretty good for a couch. I don't think I've ever said that before, but that's odd. Actually, is the uh, are the wheels leaning in and out a little bit? Uh, yeah, they actually are. You know, that's actually really cool. A lot of times the uh, wheels on these suspension, say if you go straight pipe piece to suspension piece, it's going to set straight up and down. And the only give, of course, is going to be that suspension piece letting it travel up and down. But here, the way he's got it angle, uh, you can actually see the wheels, they'll camber in and out as you turn. So you can see them lean over. Uh, actually, I might be kind of stuck here. That back wheel is kind of small. So I probably shouldn't be in the what appears to be cucumber field, which is a kind of an odd thing. I still don't understand what these fields are for in Scrap Mechanic. But yeah, let's try to find a little bit of an area I can run this open in. Let's see, let's go over here. All right. But yeah, you can see it. Uh, they'll uh, lean out. You can see it do it there. Anytime I hit these bumps, they'll lean a little to the left, a little to the right, just kind of wherever the uh, bump's going to send it. Uh, that's really cool. Like, I... I think these are probably some of the most unique suspension pieces that I've seen on vehicles. And not to uh, take away from anybody else, uh, there's been a lot of really cool ideas for uh, suspension, but these are uh, definitely some really unique ones. And really happy he sent all this to me. Um, love it when you guys send me stuff. Uh, I'm always accepting viewer creations, and this is part of the reason why, because it's just so cool getting to dive in and see how you guys like to do stuff. Uh, I would love to be able to create some sort of off-road vehicle using a similar setup uh, to maybe even this or uh, what he's got on the hot rod over there because those are both really cool. But yeah, I want to thank that Lego guy for sending all this in. And I also want to thank Scrubmaster for sending that theater. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the creations. I, I'm really thinking of using that theater. Uh, I pictured maybe having an actual movie theater in the, the town, but that performance theater, there's just so much love and effort put into it that I really think it would fit in. But like I said, I, I do want to wait until after the uh, engine update, which should be out on the 31st. But anyways, guys, if you want to send me anything, I'm going to flash the email up on screen now. I accept all of your creations if you want to send me either a workshop link or you can send me the world file either way. Uh, I normally... I would like a little bit of a description. Uh, I've had some people just send me a file that, like, a, or a world that just doesn't really, it's like a blank name or it just says something very just weird and that's all they send me. I, I typically don't open those up because it's just, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's really worth me going into. It, it just seems a little odd. So if you'd like to send a little description, even a picture, anything helps. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I do apologize it's not a town uh, update. I will try to get one of those together for you guys. Like I said, it's been pretty miserable the past couple days, but I, I feel pretty good right now. I've been resting up today. Uh, I will try to get some something started later today. I'll probably try to start on uh, maybe a town update. But anyways, I, I really look forward to this weekend with the update there and then the uh, hopefully the big video on Saturday. But anyways, guys, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. I think we'll have some city skylines coming very soon. And I'm going to try to fill in these days that I don't do with Scrap Mechanic. I'm going to try to get some videos going uh, to try to catch up a little bit. But anyways, guys, hope you have a good day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.